Hi everyone, this is Jill and today um, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Um, the past few weeks I've been doing reviews about bags that I currently own and today I want to do a review of a couple of skin products that I've been using. Now, I started um, to watch um, YouTube videos because I was looking for um, skin products that um, would work for me about two years ago I had a really really bad breakout on my forehead and also here in my cheeks um, very stressful time in my life and um, I was really really desperate to look for skin products that um, actually work for um, for skin that's like breaking out really bad so for those of you who are out there and struggling um, you guys could start um maybe look do some research um watch videos and then maybe do, by doing that you'll be able to find certain products that works for you because for me it actually took some time but i i found a couple of products that work for me now um i'm not saying my breakout disappeared from these products i actually um i got on accutane if you guys don't know accutane is um one of the drugs out there that's it's prescribed and it's very it's actually very strictly regulated so before your doctor would uh, put you in accutane they would um do other options first like i want i had to do birth control first before um before I resorted to Accutane. So it does take some time. But um, birth control did not work for me. Nothing changed. My skin stayed the same. And after a couple months, my um my dermatologist, she was great. It was it was pretty it was pretty rough. Um the regulation is for women, you have to be taking birth control while you're um taking the drugs and also you have to take an exam um read like a packet and read an exam um because um it's very dangerous for um for women to get pregnant while on the medication anyway this is not about accutane um i just wanted to let you guys know about that um and why i got it so the first product i want to i want to show you guys my um typical routine now um on some very busy days no matter how tired i am how busy I get um, one of the things that remain consistent is that I always always do this um, routine because years ago I took it I took my skin for granted I had great skin um, no breakouts and then I started just like you know like not um, doing what what I do not taking care of it and I regret that so much so anyway um, I do use a different different kind of product so I'm gonna start with um, I usually after washing my face um, with the um, with the soap that I use I use different ones and I'm gonna get to that in maybe another video but like um, I wanna l let you guys know what I do um, after I wash my face so the first product I'm gonna show you is um, this is SK2 um, facial treatment essence so actually this is not a toner they do have a toner that i used before which worked great with this but um i think um i stopped using that toner for a little bit now um and just stuck with um the facial treatment essence because i think this just this worked just fine for me um for those of you who want to check out the toner um i would definitely recommend it as well but i think um this um, facial treatment essence is the one that worked for me the best so um, the consistency is just like liquid it's actually I just finished this bottle so I cannot show you guys um the consistency but I bought this maybe a year ago or more than a year ago and this lasts for such a long time now when I bought this more than a year ago i think the price was about a hundred plus and i can't remember on the top of my head what the price is but it's around that it's a hundred um plus and um 
a lot of you might say oh you're crazy um, and I thought of that when I was buying this the first time but um, once I started using it I really um, I really really think that it's definitely worth it so this is a Japanese brand and um, if you guys want to know more about it you could um, read about it there's so many um, postings and like blogs and videos that um, reviewed this product already and I could definitely tell you guys that I've tried tons of products when I was breaking out and I tried everything I tried facial I even bought like expensive facial um, treatment I bought different kind of products I even used a lot of um, K products Korean products as well and they are great for for people who have um, great skin already um, I think um, those um, products are it works really well for maintenance but if you guys are look if, if your skin is bad and you're trying to like find something that will calm it down I wouldn't recommend those products so this is the only one that I use that actually calm down my cystic pimple on my forehead and also my breakout right here I don't know if you guys could see me like I'm not wearing any um, products right now any makeup but I had a really bad scar scarring here on my you could still see on my cheeks and it took forever for it to fade away until now it's still I'm still working on it um so yeah start with the toner so I'm actually starting with a new toner the reason why I'm switching is not because I don't want to use this anymore and um for, I heard from like one of the bloggers that i used to watch um you guys should um check her out um, her name is ray and i think for viewer is her um name in youtube and she said that you should always always um don't use the same product for such a long time because your skin will get so used to it it will plateau and then it does not work well no matter how great the product is it does not really improve your skin anymore so it's always good to kind of switch up um, here and there so I'm trying this um, it's very similar to SK2 only that this is a lot cheaper I got this from Soho Glam it's called Real Ferment Micro Essence Neogen and I did try the, um, the sample before I bought this and I really liked it it really moisturized my face and i'm gonna give it a try and i'll get let you guys know in a few months so i usually um would uh it's still sealed i'm so sorry i just this is i just opened it today so <laughs> this is the first day that i'm actually using it but i just want to show you guys how i use so i just well i wash my hands really well before this obviously and I put a couple of drops on my palm and I just dab it on my face like this um sometimes I use cotton but like many times I always forget to to get cottons and I think cottons work well as well but this works for me it's been working for me and because you're you're using your hand to um, pat it you think your skin absorbs it better always put the products on your neck this is the first area where aging shows up so it's always good always always pat it really well everywhere okay so after this after the toner, um, usually go for the eye treatment. Now, um, I read somewhere in a magazine that like it's good to put the eye cream. Usually, people tend to put it last, but um, it's good to put it first because there's not not much on your skin yet, so it's better. And as you, could, you guys could see, my eyes are a little bit. I guess I'd say unique, different. I have this really deep um, 
eye bags well it's not an eye bag but even if i get like 10 hours 12 hours of sleep it just looks like that it's just the way it looks and i used to hate it but actually a lot of people tell me that oh it makes you unique but i don't know it's just kind of hard to do makeup and i always look tired people are like why do you look so tired oh you look so tired and i'm like um no it's just the way i look anyway so i would just put a tiny amount and when you're doing um eye cream um always use your um ring finger because when you use other finger they tend to be um stronger so you don't want to like bruise the under the skin under your eye it's very sensitive so you want to be as light as possible so just um really try to be just like pat it really lightly now i have to rave about this eye cream i've been using this for a while i really have to switch up but i haven't found any eye cream that works as well as this for me it, this is Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado and I've been using this for I would say two years now and I love it um, like what I said I have this really deep um, eye bags and I would tell you guys this is the only one that really made a difference with how I look and um, when I am when I use this and I wear makeup, I really noticed the big difference. It, um, the discoloration disappear like usually like for me it used to be like really really dark under underneath. But like um, yeah, if you guys want to um, if you guys are um looking for um an amazing eye cream, I think this is about forty bucks, the bigger size and it lasts me for such a long time maybe for this is probably going for it probably goes for like six months or so and um i think you guys should give it a try after the eye cream um i usually would put um some sort of essence um right now i have this shishado white lucent essence that I use this is um, meant to be used for the night so I don't use this every day um, I use different ones um, occasionally um, right now this is the only one I have left so I'm using this um, I have to say that this one is a little bit um, if I think this is a good product I wouldn't say it's amazing um, just like how I read about the kills, but um, I use this and it's very moisturizing and I think this help with um, with the scarring that I have on my face I definitely it's supposed to um, it's a luminizing surge white lucent so it's supposed to lighten the even to even your skin so I've been using this for a while so I do the same thing, the neck, and everywhere. And I tend to do the same um, kind of movement, usually upward, and then also patting because like it's better because your skin absorbs it better. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how like the texture is. It just well, it just looks like that. So it's pretty thick. So um sometimes um when my fail when my um sorry when I have like really like oily skin sometimes depending on what kind of conditioner that I used and what kind of food that I eat I stop using this because I feel like it clogs my pores a little bit because it's a bit heavy I wouldn't say no it's not too heavy it's just like more oily the the feel is like light but like i just feel like it clogged my pores sometimes and um although you guys can see 
I have um, pores on my forehead that um, it's not a big pores but I always get like some sort of clogging on the same spot do you see this spot right there it's always the same spot and I have no idea but when I'm looking at it and it, when it's I don't have anything on it any pimple or anything like that like it just looks like a normal pores like I don't see any big pores I, ever since I took Accutane my pores like disappeared especially right here I used to have big pores right here and I hated that I hate the way it looks but after Accutane it really shrunk so I don't even know why I'm like breaking. anyway I'm breaking out a little bit I have this one break out that's like dry already um, so one of the new products that I'm using right now and I'm gonna say that I've only been using this for about a week and I have to say that I'm really impressed this is called the birch juice hydro sleeping mask and I got this from Soho glam as well because I'm kind of like looking for a moisturizer for the night um, in the morning I use a different kind of moisturizer I'm gonna get in that like maybe in the later video but this is just kind of like the stuff that I use at night and this is actually not a moisturizer well this is a moisturizer but it's called a hydro sleeping mask so in, instead of the typical moisturizer um, and so the instruction is basically um, it's very watery which I like but is also very moisturizing so this is a sleeping mask so basically you put it on at night and then you wash it the next day in the morning and I really like that I don't know for some reason I just think that oh like because it's on my skin the whole night like when I wake up it's just my face is so moisturized well my face is really moisturized when I wake up in the morning this is the only for a week now, I've been using this and I don't use moisturizer in the evening anymore at the moment and I just use this and I think that it's amazing and it's very, it's a very, it has a very light um texture it's very watery, I don't know if you guys could see it's very watery, which I really, really like because I don't like thick moisturizer because I feel like when I'm using a thick moisturizer, yeah, it's moisturizing your face, but then I just hate the feeling of it. And also, especially in the winter time, it's winter here. I live in New York and it's still very cold. And um, in the winter, you really, really need a really good moisturizer. And I think this works really well. And I think I might be able to use it for the summer as well because it's not too thick and um, I don't know, I can't really say that. Maybe I'll see because my skin is very sensitive when the season change. So if this does not work out, then maybe I'll, maybe it's just for the winter. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I like to use a little bit more on my nose my forehead and then that's basically it and then you just keep it on your face for the whole night it dries up really fast so after a few minutes like I don't feel like I put any mask on it's just like putting a moisturizer like just like what I said anyway so that's it for tonight uh, I this video is pretty long but I hope you guys enjoyed it and for those of you who are looking for um, a routine a night routine and some products for your skin I definitely recommend these products if you have any question please um, comment below and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up um, or any comment that you have and I hope I'll see you guys next time bye bye